to the esteemed chieftain of Dunmut, whoever that might be at this point. With bated breath I can declare that the fisher folk of Enedwaith have been beaten. Be they your ally, kinsman or foe, I frankly do not care, for you wildmen merit not our attention and time. Such a scarce commodity for you folk. Do not mistake the intentions of this letter, my lord. This is not a warning that what has befallen the Enedwaithrim is soon to befall you, for I'm sure you are very well aware of that. Nor is this a final plea for you to bend the knee and beg forgiveness, for the hour for such entreaties has long elapsed. No, this is a letter of intent, a promise I make to you. The utter obliteration of your house, your bloodline and kin. My good lord, I promise you nothing less than death itself. Not just for the men, but the women and children. All who dare pick up arms against the heirs of Feanor will suffer my wrath. Go, feast, drink your mead, eat your pork, cherish the dwindling moments of your existence. But do make sure to pass on my promise to the next in line, for he too shall suffer my wrath ere the door. Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to episode number 14 of our Nolde River Region campaign in Third Age Total War, Divide and Conquer. The last episode was kind of a big deal because not only did we completely eradicate Enedwaith, those fish-loving bastards are completely gone, but we also finished constructing or reconstructing, better yet, the Gwaith e Murdain, the Brotherhood of Smiths, or the Guildhouse of Smiths, or whatever you want to call it. And that not only gave us a lot of extra money, uh, let's take a peek here, Gwaith e Murdain, there we go. Oh no, it doesn't give money, but it gives tradable goods, so indirectly it gives money. Plus the ability to upgrade our armor to Calabrimborian craft, which is... I think the highest tier, maybe Feanorian craft is higher, I'm not sure, but it's up there, as well as the ability to unlock Eregion Smiths and a new general, Dornononononononoston himself. So, very happy to see him, he's moving straight to the front line. Um, now, before we jump in properly, there are some renamings I need to do. The first one is, uh, let's see, I already renamed these settlements. Sudori, there we go. I had a good name for that, courtesy of Memetastic001. And that was Ethir Gwathlo, and I believe Gwathlo has an accent on it, there we go. Which is Elvish, I think it's Sindarin, for Mouth of the Gwathlo, because that's the settlement that is closest to the Mouth of the Gwathlo. And now there were some naming suggestions by... Aramil, I believe. His YouTube name is Lewa, but I think that's Aramil. Um, for Karas was... Where is Karas? Karas, Karas. Where is Karas? Oh, we already took Karas, right. Uh, I guess for Alkfoot then, maybe. Uh, and that would be Aldaron, which is still kind of close to Alkfoot, which means of the trees. And then there was another naming suggestion, but I'm going to hold on to that one for now. <laughs> Keep you guys on your toes. Alright, uh, now the time has come to kind of consolidate our realm a bit. I am going to finish off Dunland, but I want to not rush things. I don't want to trigger that Doomstack too early on. What I want to do right now, as also pointed out in the comment section, is make sure that I have good governors where I need them, that I swap around some traits, so this guy here, Eroa Fadeon, gets all the best retinue. Sculptor, hmm. This one's a good one, plus one farming, plus one to public health. But I want to get ones that increase our mining income. This one here, exceptional counselor. Those ones, I want to transport to our general. Actually, I might just switch these two governors, because this one's just straight up better. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just swap them. Bloop, there we go. Uh, and then we'll give my glad some extra traits as well, just to make sure that we get extra... Like stuff like mining knowledge, etc., is really going to boost our uh, our income. So let's just double check that there's no things that I need to transfer. I want to make sure that we have generals that are specialized in being a general, and then governors that are specialized in being a governor. So elven necklace doesn't really do anything. Carpenter would be a good one. Let's see a master craftsman. Is that Brad Pitt? 
Holy shit. But they can stay in Belegion, because Belegion's going to be a trade settlement for the most part. Uh, but first I need to get an extra general that I can move around, that I can transfer those trades, and also plop down watch that would. Uh, so Alderon might get attacked, they're welcome to try. I'm going to continue our siege of Bregnas, but I'm not going to rush it. Karas I will take eventually, that will trigger the Doomstack. Apparently the Doomstack spawns near Bayrigavold, so that's around here. So if they then move towards Dunyard and try to delete siege there, that would work out. So I think I'm fine pressing the unturn now. Some people might disagree with the way I do things, but I mean, it's fine, is it not? And you all know me, when I say I don't want to rush things, I still rush things, just less so. <laughs> I always play very jittery, very fast. As uh, some YouTubers out there, and I'm not saying that one is better than the other, not at all, but they take their time a lot more. And their factions, their entire campaigns, they take like two to three hundred turns. Whereas mine, I don't know, I typically reach the end game at like 150 or something, depending on the faction, of course. This faction is going to take longer because the scripts that I want to complete. Alright, so we're under siege at Alderon. I mean, poor guys. Belegiant, a shipwright. Good, I think. Do we just splurge on the Great Roads? Trade is huge here, so more trading would be good. I mean, that's quite a massive jump, but it's also quite expensive, whereas the fairground is quite cheap. So I think I'll get the fairground first. Argond got communal farms. Uh, how is the trade income? There's a lot of devastation here, but that will go away. The trade is not that massive, but I think it's the best thing I can get. We already have free upkeep for you, yes. That's shipwrights, it is then, I suppose. I do need to take more attention to like retinues, I barely look at it, but some of these things are really quite helpful, like Talfagarong the Architect. That's quite helpful, for example. Telescope plus one line of sight. So that's good for a spy. I'm not sure if I can transfer like spy traits to general. I don't think I can, but oh, Karas is looking very easy to grab right now. No, no, no. I shall not get distracted, not until my troops arrive at the very least. Um, so those are my Noldor, right? I would love to have Dor no 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 stone at Dunyard. And then Kiriatan can move out. Oh, Dunland is sending over some reinforcements. Then I might just take Bregnas now. Just because these guys, there's a lot of them. And I wouldn't be too worried about facing them. But... I need more cavalry for that. So let's see. Actually, what I could do is disregard Bregnas and move on to Karas. That would make my borders a bit better defined. Yeah, let's do that. Let's disregard Bregnas for now. Oh, we're surrounded. Captain Brack. Can I move Kiriatan out already? I think I have to. Okay. Then he can help out against Brak. Kill them. Move up. Kill this guy. Go towards Karas. Wait for Dornononoston to arrive at Dunyard. And then push towards Bregnas. I think that's gonna just have better for my borders and better for no Dunlending sneaking past my lines. It's a bit risky and I might trigger the Doomstack earlier than I'd expect. You never really know with this game. But... I think that's a better way to approach things here. So let's do it. Let's give our Noldor their first taste of Dunlending blood. Alright, I don't like this hill that we're storming. But let's take a peek at our Noldor troops, how they look in the crimson colours. Look at these guys, they even got black cloaks. Oh wow, I think that's also because of the armour upgrade. Can I get them in a bit of better light? It's very dark in these woods. Oh my god, they look fantastic. 33 defense, 15 attack, yeah. No cav will stand against that. Then we have our veterans. So they've kept, because they're also armor upgraded, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they've kept their look. Interesting. But they also look incredibly cool. Maybe if I give them an even higher tier, the golden armor, then perhaps. 
these guys as well. The red cloaks with the silver just looks fantastic. Yeah, that's really, really cool. If we put them next together to the Sindar, you can really tell the difference. Ah, sorry, the Lindar. I don't have Sindar. I have Lindar and Noldor. I don't have any Sindar, which is surprising. Um, this is really a massive hill. Is there any, like, any sort of more flat terrain? This sorta, I guess? I guess I'll take it. I guess I will take it. Uh, no. Kiryatan, you go there. I'll let Kiryatan do most of the heavy lifting. Oh, spread out. Oh, don't spread out then. Uh, and then infantry like that, and the extra calf over here. And then we'll move like a pack. Can I maybe move a bit wider like this? Alright. Now, we need to make sure to remember that we're fighting Dundon here. We fought Dundon before, but not as much. They should be a little bit tougher than Eredwaith, I do believe. In terms of countering me. They're more against horses and armored foes. More versed in that kind of warfare. Of course, from battling Rohan for so many centuries. Alright. Ah, I love Rohan. It might actually be one of my favorite factions. Yeah, they got like Wolfinger Pikes. Those guys, they look mean. I need to give them respect. Luckily, Pikes are quite weak to archers. Okay. This isn't the best position. We still have some low ground. But maybe, if I keep lowering them down below, then maybe, just maybe, I can gain high ground advantage. Or at the very least, not suffer a disadvantage. Kiryatan is a mad lad. I will send him home for retraining at some point, just so he gets armor upgrades as well. Not that he needs the armor per se. Uh, okay, they still have a bit of a high ground. I need to move them a bit lower. But... Well, they're already in range now, so let's just keep firing on them. How much damage do my Noldor Archers do? Nine. That's quite a big improvement. Accuracy very high. Their accuracy is low. Now, as I said many times, this is Elven accuracy. So a low Elven accuracy is much better than even a high human accuracy. But very high Elven accuracy is just... I think that's the second highest tier. I think you get exceptional Elven archery. And that's for maybe like Myrnil's troops. Yes, they get exceptional accuracy but very high is just only one tier below that so it's also incredibly accurate they're not gonna miss many shots I wonder what these guys accuracy is uh, hi okay so the Noldor are roughly between Kiryatan and Myrnil keep moving don't let them touch the pretty horses. These guys are tanky, I must admit. Protect Middle Earth. Are you running back? Cowards. Scared of the big bad wolf. Oh, he's trying to charge me. Idiot. I really hope I can train more of those Austin Ethel Rangers in the long run, that would be fantastic. Having two or three in one army would just do so much damage without them being able to touch me, let alone kill me. I'm going to move my cab a bit wide. And Kiryatan is out of ammo, perfect. Oh, Linda Bowman, why are you here? I thought I... Oops, didn't mean to move you that far forward. Let the Noldor do the tanking. Oops. Let's click. Where are you going? Like, I don't understand where you're going. Are I still trying to chase the horses? Alright. Send in the Noldor Defenders. I want to keep as many of them alive as possible, so we're going to back them up with a calf charge right away. 
There's three war chances there. Four swords. Alright, then fine. Just gonna switch your targets. Glorious charge from Keriatan. He's trying to zone me out with his brain sword wielders. That's fine, that's fine. You're too late. I'm long gone, buddy. Let's plop our ability. Might have been plopped a bit early. Okay. They've committed everything now. Alright, get in there, veterans. Protect the defenders. We're losing men out there, which is a bit of a surprise considering how high their defense is. They broke. They broke. Everybody breaks. Even before my Amanya arrived, the Wolfinger broke. I shoot those brain sword wielders. Chase them down. Older veterans, don't get ahead of yourself. Although, I could just end it like this. Send in the older defenders. Calf charge, calf charge. Be home before supper. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Behold, ah, we go. Minimal casualties, but some casualties. But hey. Can't be perfect, of course. I'm honestly surprised we lost so many of the defenders considering how high their stats are. But that's a good lesson, you know. I shouldn't get too cocky. They're not unkillable. They're very hard to kill, but they can be killed. In the wise words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Or was that Jesse Ventura? I think that was Arnold. This is a clear victory. Nice. I mean, only 10 casualties. Manyar gained some experience. We lost 9 of the Noldor. We healed 1 back up. It's a bit sad, but hey. Nice. Okay, now we should be able to move on towards Ka uh, Pregnas? Karas? No, I can't remember. Another settlement. Alright, screw you. Oh, I didn't even let him finish his plea. Have mu- nope. Alright. And then we'll move towards Karas, right. Kill the faction leader. Chieftain Galmad. He's probably fuming. He's like, no wait, I asked for reinforcements, is that not what I had in mind? Alright, so let's sally out of Alaron. Lumban. Again, these troops... They're not bad. I need to give them some respect. Not much, but some. Alright, let's give them respect the only way I know how to, by straight up murder. Alright, move everybody out. We're styling out, so they're gonna come running all the way back. So let's see if Ixthelion can already cheer them on a bit. Let's see if we can catch them, maybe lure them to fight under the tower, that would be nice. The pikes always scare me. Even though Excelion doesn't really give a crap about pikes. In my brain, it's still so hard why it's like rock, paper, scissors, you know? You don't charge pikes with your horses. Even if you charge pikes in the rear... I don't know, you kind of clench your butt a little bit. It's always like, will they make it out or not? Don't know. You're lucky these trees aren't ants. They would skin you alive. Can I get Ents? I think I might be able to get Ents as Elf. I know Lothlorien can get Ents. Yeah, we'll see. We're not that far off from Fangorn anymore. Right, they're just going to stand there and take it. And I will just keep charging you. Until my friends arrive. Unit per unit. Because you guys are incapable of forming any sort of resistance. Perhaps the AI overhaul needs an overhaul. Or perhaps the AI is just completely dumb to begin with. And no amount of overhauling will fix it. Uh, just imagine how good Medieval 2 would be with good AI. On both sides. I mean, pathfinding on your side. Enemy AI just putting up resistance instead of whatever the hell this is. Creative Assembly, man. I'm not going to join in on all the Creative Assembly bashing because... 
There's a lot of it, and I don't think all of it's warranted. But I will say this. If you want money, just make Medieval 3 be exactly like Medieval 2, but just update it, you know? Improve the graphics a bit, improve the AI. Don't change anything else, okay? Oh yeah, and give princesses big breasts. That's all I'm asking from a personal standpoint, you know? But besides that, don't change a thing. Don't add incredibly complex diplomacy things. I used to ask for that, but it's proven time and time again. All these features, like Rome 2, you had like the entire Senate, and then in Egypt, or whatever it's called, Pharaoh, you have all this court BS. Nobody cares about that. I mean, I might be wrong here, maybe some people do care about it, but I've always just dismissed it. It's total war. All I want to do is move troops around on a fictional map and just... or non-fictional map and just go kill stuff. That's all I really cared about. All the other stuff. It's all just nice extras. Alright, let's get rid of the captain. Ooh, that was a bit of a difficult charge, but... Good tidings. Nice. The enemy general lies dead. Those Wolfingers are tough. Are my troops in range yet? Oh no. Because that will make things go a bit quicker. Vows of Power is still like, could go either way. What have you been smoking? Another one! Are these guys killed against mounts? They're not, damn. They're surprisingly st oh, 19 defenders isn't bad. Because they tank my calf charges like surprisingly well and they killed a couple of my troops so I was like maybe these guys are skilled against mounts. They're Dunlan so it wouldn't completely surprise me. Come on rangers, are you not in range yet? Ah nice, shoot the bikes. I don't know what kind of formation these guys are going for but I appreciate the enthusiasm. Yeah it's just a few sally out there, yeah, I don't know. They're like, don't know how to deal with it because they never expect you to sally out. They're always like, damn, these guys are cool. But I'd sell swords. I'll retire you at some point, but not today. No matter how many people keep clamoring for pensioning for the sell swords. Not yet. I still need them. For the moment, the fortune of yeah. battle goes our way. Good job. You've proven yourself worthy of my. Company yet again. Alright. Eisenreich Tower Sworn. It's a very cool looking unit. Pretty basic, but I like basic units. I like Dunland because of it. I know. But is he? They're all brown. I know, I know. And Anadwyth is all yellow, but doesn't matter. I like the muted colors. Remains. This guy's break? Oh no, okay. Yeah. Clench the butt, because we're charging pikes, even if we're charging in the rear. Oh, there's a scary moment. Okay, they're broken. Get the wolf finger. Oh no, my cell swords. Well, not so much for retirement. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but you've literally served your purpose and now you've. I don't know, you no longer matter that much. Okay, and charge them. There we go. Battle is over. Thanks for laying siege to my settlement, but no thanks. Alright, you, goodbye. Farewell, auf Wiedersehen, goodbye. Okay. Anything else I need to build? People rag on me sometimes, and it's warranted that I don't pay enough attention to my realm. But I'm I'm literally oh I can upgrade Dovon. I'm literally Robert Baratheon in Game of Thrones. I don't care about the realm. I just want to kill people. I just want to fight. I'm a great commander. I'm a lousy governor. That's pretty much what it boils down to. And this is why I'll always be playing. Total War instead of like Crusader Kings or whatever. Okay. I think in the long run that will lead to more money. I don't know. I might be wrong. 
Wouldn't be the first time. Retraining. <gasps> Can I retrain them? Not yet. Okay. Nithron. Nithron. What are you doing over here? Oh. Follow me. Ravenian as well. I got so many governors coming in. That's actually really helpful. Alright. Keep you going. I could move you from four to four, but money isn't that big of a problem. Ah. Oh. Where were you? 40 turns ago. I don't need two units in Herot. Can move some down. Oh, that was bad. Well, I'm just going to kill Frizzell then, because otherwise he might go after Karanion. I just wanted to make sure that I've got Garrison in these settlements, the Borderlands. <laughs> Borderlands. Uh, just so Donlan doesn't try anything funny. I mean, it's good that I kill these guys. I know I should do that a lot more, but these small-scale battles sometimes bore me a little bit. But getting rid of Ballista, Pikes, like that is much easier than when they're part of a large army. However, because I want to make sure this episode is quite long and I achieve some more things, I'm just going to edit this out and show you the results so I can record longer. Alright. Alright, my boys. As you can tell, it was a really annoying fight because they were like hiding in the trees, etc. But we got rid of them and well, suffered some casualties, but most of them were part of Ecthalion's force. Kind of went willy-nilly with him, so not a big deal, but we got some experience for both our infantry units, so that's quite nice. Alright. Oop. Thank you, but yeah, stay in your realm, please. This was never yours to begin with. I will move out so I can plop down a nice juicy watchtower. Ah. One thing I've been doing quite well in this campaign, at least, is plopping down watchtowers. Don't think I can get blamed for not putting enough effort in my watchtowers. Okay. Although I'm sure it's still not enough for a lot of people. I mean, there are still some blind spots, but not that many. Oh, Herot is unhappy. Oh, they needed that guy. But I'll put Rovanian in there. He can govern Herot. As long as the no 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 stun goes to Daniad. Uh, right, I think that's all for this turn. So we've disregarded the plan to take Bregnas. We're going to Karas instead. And perhaps Goon would be better to take, just so I move the front unilaterally. Brian? His name is Brian? Really? I mean, I'm sorry to any Brians that are watching. I don't have anything against the name Brian. It's just not the most unending name. Oh, uh, that's Brian. So we've got Wolfheart the second. We have Chieftain Yaktak the bloody. And then Brian. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I wish Izzy was a general. Could someone mod that? I mean, it's not difficult to mod that, but too lazy to do it myself. Just make myself a general. Ah. That would be cool. We must protect the oh, Damog! Where do they keep coming from? I thought I killed them all, but... I guess they've been making babies while I was fighting... Anadwaith. Alright, you, Nithron, you keep moving. Herod, yeah, there's a governor en route as we speak, so if you could just please chill. Get the Hall of Song there, so he gets free upkeep. Construction reports. Herod, we've done that. Austin Noldor, the blacksmith. Nice. Let's get those extra Lindar and let us get an art gallery. Why not? The extra trade in the long run will be nice. Teriosta got the regular roads. Nice. There's more rebels. Are these mines good? Eh, they're quite good for how cheap they are. Let's get them. Austin Ethel. Oh, we got a new governor. Oh no, it's just a retraining. Never mind. Never you mind. Okay. And those dwarfs should be able to make it back to an onrod, get retrained, and throw in some extra Sons of the Fall, and why not? Okay. The Aradanaim and Mordor are at war. Damn, Mordor is really just picking fights with everyone. Bree likes me, that's good. Uh, they're still number one, though, but... With how much war they're waging, I don't know if that's good for them. I mean, it opens up some... Areas where they can capture territory, I suppose. Oh yes, also, I've made an executive decision. These guys, the cell swords, they can retire. There you go. They've reached retirement age. One of the few cell swords units that are still in there. There's some in Damog. Uh, we'll have to sally out here. Maybe some will earn their liberty. 
Duptok. I mean, this is another fight that I will just edit out and show you the result, just so we can have... We can cram more content in this episode. I literally just shot them all. <laughs> Didn't even engage them in melee. A perfect elven result. Nice. Even got some experience from the Noldor defenders. What? They didn't kill anyone. Okay, I guess that works for me. Okie dokie. Maybe I should have ransomed the seven gold coins just for laughs. Alright, let us lay siege to Karaz. I guess I'll suffer the siege of Damok for one turn. If they attack me, then I can defend it with my walls. If they don't attack me, I'll take Karas, and they might reconsider taking Damok because they no longer border it. Unless, can I take Karas now? Are the gates open by any chance? No. Never lucky. Never lucky. I'm gonna plop you in Bregnas, I think. Oh, I already have a spider. He's moved out the Factioner. Geralt of Rivia from the first Witcher game, I think. It's a big army, but it's a pretty crappy army. Mm. Okay. Nithron. Nithron. You have an extra spy. I'm going to put that spy in Dunyard. Not just to improve my culture, but also to root out any enemy spies in case they might be lingering there. Move him towards Dunyard. Sort of to stay as backup when I need a new governor. Okay. Anything else I need to be doing? I don't think so. Unless I need to train more troops, but I don't really. Any missions that I'm forgetting about? Yes. Take Bregna. Ah, right, yeah. I'll take it eventually, I'll take it eventually. Need a little bit more time. Okay, press the end turn. We might get attacked, and I wouldn't be too opposed to it. Doesn't make a big difference. Only delays the inevitable. I just hope that the army at Bregnas does not push towards Herod. That would be annoying. And I might have to exterminate the people of Karas for public order reasons. <laughs> they might not like it, but you don't have a choice, mate. Oh lord, look at all of them just pop up in Karas. Interesting. I think they lifted the siege though, did they not? Yeah, 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 that's that army pulling back. Interesting. They move in very interesting manner. Alright, Ostmir Anguador got the mining network. That's quite nice. Um, what do I want here? Mining is not that big of my income. Trade's actually quite big. So I guess the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. Don Marak got the Art Gallery. What is this? An Eregion Elite Chasm. Hmm. I'd need 80% culture though. 70. I guess I'll go for the Great Art Gallery. That also improves my charitable goods, so... It is good for the economy as well. Ether Guatho got the Blacksmith. Good. Um, let us get... I've been thinking about getting a Ballista Maker. Maybe the Nolder got... Nah. You know what? Let's get the Ballista Maker. I need some Ballista on the field, actually. Amal Pelindi got the Master Builders Hall. Let's go for the Guildhouse. All that on the grain exchange. Good, good, good. A port would be nice. I'm surprised we border the sea here. So let's go for a port. That's going to bring in a lot of money, I think. Okay. I don't think we need to dilly dally on Karas. I think we need to take that now. Chieftain Galmad. He has Frekalinger. Okay, interesting. Will be relatively easy to kill. Captain Say. Whatever the hell that is. I wish I could take control of that ballista and use it against Chieftain Galmat, but alas, that is not an option. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything special I need to worry about. I can send out Keriatan to take care of Captain Tse. Honestly, Myrna could solo Galmat on his own very easily. Alright, let's take Karas. Oh, they don't even have towers. Poor sods. I do feel so sorry for them, but... <laughs> oh, wait. If they're coming from that side, then their reinforcements are gonna come from this side? Am I wrong? I might be wrong. 
I'll send everyone in to help, why not? And watch me be on the completely wrong side. Yep. Hey, you okay. idiot, is he? Oh, right, whatever. Might not. Those Frickling are to chill. What are they chilling? Oh, you know what? No, I don't want to. I don't want to take the ram. Ramming is beneath me. I will take a Salamence using only my bow. Can't I move myself to a bit of a better spot? Doesn't matter much. Okay, fire away. And whatever we do, don't let those guys reach the garrison. That's all I'm asking. So Kiryatan, you can move out. Only half the enemy force remains. Might know just destroying those guys. You mustn't reach the garrison. Alright, you guys take that ballista down. Yes, chase me, chase me. Oh no. Don't catch me. Good. Got him exactly where we want him. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to ram down the freaking gate like some kind of chum. Whatever. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, well, something's getting smashed. Or someone. <laughs> All right. Nice. Bye bye, Ballista crew. Oh, oops. Bye bye, Kiriatan. Is he, you idiot? Oh, they didn't even catch me. They got so close, and then I was like, nah. Not for a lack of trying, though. I'll give you that. Damn, why are these guys so fast? They're blazing speedy. Salas, crazy. Ah, oh, don't let him reach my Noldor, please. Look at these guys. Just look at them! Oh, they look fantastic. Absolutely demolishing Spoiterman. Okay, keep it up, boys. Now get the War Spear Throng, shoot them point blank, please. Uh, don't let him kill you. Whoa, don't shoot your friends. Don't shoot your friends. Friends, don't kill friends. Oh, gods. Are we chasing them? We're chasing them. They're like, oh, the reinforcements are here. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, Myrnil, get in there. The enemy's walls belong to us now. I think you can still win this without a single casualty, right? So just shoot him. Hope they don't charge. Idiot. <laughs> oh, I think that might have been the easiest siege battle I've ever done. By far. We got some experience from it. Nice. Okie dokie do. Thank you. I'll be taking control of that now. Yeah. Thank you. Please evacuate promptly. Another chieftain bites the dust. I wonder who's next. Mm, I guess I'll occupy it for now. Can always swap out governors. Move you to this side. I'm gonna wait to see what Fiergas does. He might lay siege to Karas, in which case I will sally out. But he might just bug it off as well. But all this Dunlending invasion crap has taught me that I definitely need more watchtowers. Even more. And my realm is just looking nicer and nicer. Wait a minute. 22 regions. And I need how many again? 35. Okay, that's not that bad. 13 more in about 30 turns. If I kill all of Vi's, uh, sorry, getting ahead of myself. If I kill all of Donland, that's one, two, three, four. If I take Isengard, five. I need to get eight more. That's not that many. That's not that many. We can do that, definitely. 
I'm going to let them just run amok for one turn and then we'll see how they maneuver and I might just get rid of them if need be. Uh, right, let's double check the retraining. Okay, these guys should be retrained now. Yeah, fresh dwarves. Fresh dwarves, I repeat, we have fresh dwarves. I'd love to get a watchtower here. I hope I have enough movement range. Nope, I don't. But honestly, I'll do it just because it makes me feel better. Oh, this is blind as well, but I'm not going to move a general all that way. Alright, so if the Dunlending Doomstack shows up, I can just kill them, you know? So, should I wait? I don't think I should wait for anything else. The only thing I'd wait for are those extra dwarves, but they're already on the way. We've got highways all the way towards the south, so... They will reach it relatively quickly. If I take Bregnas, then that Doomstack is going to move quite far away. Because the borders are going to be quite far away as well. See, what can I pull out of Tyriosta? If I could pull the calf, at the very least this joined up calf, that would be nice. Just in terms of preference. Can I move everything out? It seems I can move everything out. Just the governor. Okay. That's handy dandy. I'll move them in the direction of Damok, join up some troops there. And then see if I can drag some extra troops. I could leave Kiryatan in charge of Karaz temporarily. Take Myrnil and take Bregnas. Done deal. If I really wanted to min-max, I could move Kiryatan to attack Chieftain Gwea. And then the garrison would join and we'd kill them all because Kiryatan's an absolute beast. But that's a bit cheesy. I know, I know. Some of you might want me to do exactly that, but... No, no, no. We'll buy that time. We will buy that time. Isengard's a really interesting one. We'll see how we deal with them. Alright, let's uh, press the end. Uh, and I suppose... Yes. Let's see how Dunland reacts. I would like to kill that big army there. It's not a huge deal, but... And then once the Doomstack is done, that's the good part, though. The Doomstack is like this sort of... It's like the Balrog of Moria. It's there, so you're always kind of backing off from it. But if you just bite the bullet and sacrifice Gandalf and get rid of the Balrog, then it's gone, you know? It's no longer resting on your shoulder and just looming, ever looming. You can get rid of him, and then it makes things a lot easier. I feel like Bregnas has become even easier to grab now. I could solo that with Kiryatan so easily. Honestly... Maybe I straight up should do exactly that. Alright, first things first. Austin Ethel got the mining network. Look at that, just raking in the cash. We can get the very Roman looking mining network. Could consider that. The trade income is massive. What if I get that great art gallery? A smallish improvement. What if I get the great roads, honestly? That's a massive improvement, holy crap. From 5.5k to 7.2k, yes. Brainless decision right there. Although Vorden has been upgraded, it looks like a nice elven town now. I'll get the grain exchange because it's cheap. Karas Nerland got the Hall of Music. Gosh. Uh, blacksmith? I need to build a lot of stuff in this turn and I don't have money for it, so... Austin Guathlo, Shipwright. I need something that's cheap and brings in money. Leather worker. Perfect. Dunyard Farms. Gods. Let's get the Hall of Music, I suppose, for the free upkeep. Oh, this guy already gets free upkeep. Um, leather Worker. <laughs> when in doubt, Leather Worker. Head Art. Uh, artist Studio. Do we get free upkeep? Yes, you do. Then I think I'll get the Artist Studio and I'll move out these Lindar Guards because we no longer need them for the public order. If I can pop them in a fort, I will. I need to use forts again a lot more. Because my income is stagnating a lot. But I've been investing a lot in my economy, so I think it'll improve. You see, if I can get this guy, Vanna Findon, out... No, I can't. Let's see. Let's get these guys, these guys... Is that enough? That's honestly not a shitty troop, so... 
I think I will move them here. Push them towards Gund. Then I think I'll take this army, get rid of Captain Ross. So that's a big force. Get rid of them and then either take down Firegas or just move towards Bregnas. Take that Trigger Doomstack, set out Dornar Nostal on the field and just let him destroy that Doomstack. We'll see. I want to finish off Donnan actually in a relatively short fell swoop. So let's start with Ross and we'll see how we advance from there. Okie dokie do. Again, we have a very, very professional army, so... If I can just let my archers do most of the killing... We actually start with a nice high ground as well. It's a small high ground, but... You need to respect all high grounds. Not all high grounds are created equally, but they all deserve our respect. Riders! Oh, they have calf. Well, I know who I'm killing first. I won't even have time to shoot them all. They're moving in too fast. Can I shoot those dumb Fogo Riders? I just don't like them. They're not that good, but they just kind of scare me a little bit. I know my Noldor defenders can easily just stomp them, but... Okay, they're dropping very fast now. See, they're getting a charge off and I don't like it. I pop my ability just to get rid of them. That works. Right, you go obliterate those poor farm and sods. Okay, let's get the infantry in a bit sooner than normal. But I'm gonna tell you to stop running. Maybe pull back a little bit. Because you're running in a bit too deep. Keep shooting, keep shooting. The veterans will have an easy time against the sword. Do they uh, cause fear or something? No, they don't. Okay. Because uh, they're already, like, wavering. I found that a bit... Well, my ability's still active, I suppose. Okay, give them a charge and they'll be running off. Unless my ability is no longer active then. Might not be. Derfelmen. Fire on the back lines, please. Nice charge. They're gone. Only half the enemy force remains. Two, two to horn for good luck. Keep shooting those dumb for girl marches. Ah, uh, is he running? Is he running, little boo boo bear? Oh. I remember starting this episode saying we need to respect Dalmont, and now I'm calling their general little boo boo bear, so. I mean, you gotta earn respect. How does that saying go? Respect arrives on foot but leaves on horseback? It's slow to earn and quick to lose. I guess. We've proven that today. I keep shooting those bastards. They want to run around like that. Then. By all means. Do that. But I will shoot you endlessly. Because I don't give a damn. Okay. I also think these guys have a lot more ammo than my Lindar friends. Well, they fire slower, but... I can check those things, you know. 20 missiles, 32 missiles, that is a huge difference. And actually matters a lot in terms of just how many they can kill. Especially in like siege battles or other battles that just take longer. But sometimes I have run out of ammo with my Lindar. Alright, stop shooting. And then Kiryatan, run him down. Actually, I don't need to. Uh, let's get 90%. There we go. Nice round numbers. Another easy win. Okie dokie dokie do. Then the matter of this army, of course, remains. Fairgas. I'm gonna have to kill him eventually. Otherwise, he's gonna be a thorn in my side. I think I can attack him and then move back to Karas. At the very least, Kiryatan can make it. And then I consider just moving out these guys. Leave Nithron in as a garrison. But march towards Eisenrun, send Kiryatan to take Bregnas, 
And then this guy can move on to Goon, and I might even just be able to kill all of them before the Doomstack does anything. Before they can even make it to where they need to be. I mean, in the worst case, they can take one settlement and then I just lay siege to that and then pff, that's that. Alright, first things first. Everything in my plan starts with killing Fergus. It's an annoying fight because there's so bloody many of them, but they're weak. They got two ballistas, they got done for go riders, but the rest of them... These guys are okay, these guys are pretty good, but everything else is crap. So, who's that general? Feud Keepers and... Oh, look, Feud Keepers. Surprise, surprise. So I don't think this will be too bad. Just, there's just a lot of them, really, but... Well, great way to improve the kill-death ratio, I suppose. Evil must not be allowed to triumph this day. Right, we do have a very nice high ground, so that is a good way to start the fight. I mean, the plan is going to be the exact same thing we've been doing endlessly now, but perhaps move my troops a little bit tighter and spread out at the same time, if that makes sense. Oh, there's so many of them. Morale is going to be important, so we want to try and kill their general early on. Uh, it's got to be this guy here. And of course, there's bullets I also need to go down. So, Kiriata. Nice, those Wolfing the Pikes are struggling. Oops. Didn't mean to slow down that much. Alright, send them out. Oops. That's my general, you prick. Okay, destroying those done for go riders, good. That ballista will soon cease firing. As Wolfanger Pikes, which are a scary unit, are being shot. Oops, didn't mean to stop you from moving. Move out. Kiriatan, you good? Those done for go riders took a bit of a Chomp out of you. Okay, an older veteran's already broke the feud keepers. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna pause just for a second to kind of get my bearings here. Uh, fire on them, please. Kiriatan, you can deal with those pikes. Uh, you can charge them. Sorry, Meyer, no, not Kiriatan. Kiriatan, I will just send you in melee against the Dunfogo Riders, I think. Honestly, the best way to deal with you. Charge them, they'll be gone. Is that your general feud keeper by any chance? No, but he is in here. Somehow. Maybe that is him then. Okay, those guys are gone. Kiriatan is slaughtering those Dunfogo riders. Get it back from those Warsphere throng though. We'll shoot them in the rear. I think that's their general that's dying. Yeah, 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 that's him. This fight's going a lot easier than I than even anticipated. I mean, I was expecting... I wasn't expecting the hardest of fights, but this is very easy. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. Don't get ahead of ourselves here. Yeah? This ballista might show up again. Okay, those guys are returning. No big surprise there. Give them a charge. Not to kill, but to rout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go after the behind sword wielders. Calf, help them out. Good, good, good. Those guys will not break. Please break. Please. Okay, not then. Okay, nice. We're killing them. We're killing them rather effectively. Reinforcements are slowly trickling in, but they'll be too late. It's as simple as that. They will just be too late. Oh, watch one of those freak shots just kill my and It's always possible.
Now the general's still alive, mind you. He just fled, but I think he came back. Okay, let's go, boys. Defenders. I lost quite a few of my defenders. It seems the veterans are just better than the defenders. The defenders are more against other cav, I think. They kind of struggle in melee with infantry. Well, to each their own, I suppose. Strengths and weaknesses and all that jazz. Oh, the feud keepers are here. They're still. I thought they were routing. Okay, the storm guard are here. A bit of friendly fire going on. I'll tell you guys to stop firing for now. And I'm going to move you to face those reinforcements that are coming in. That's some of my Amanyar. Unfortunately. Keep moving, keep moving. Give her a fire on them, but don't turn around. Don't worry about those bricks. How are we looking here? Myrnil is quite deep, but he seems to enjoy himself. So that's good. No, 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 no. You fired on the ones in front of you. Those bricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fired on them. Kiryatan, how are we doing? We looking good? We're looking good. That should be the last of them. Nice, nice, nice. And that big army will be gone. We're ready to take on the Doomstag. This is a good practice round, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Those guys are gone. We got some of those feud keepers still in, but they're not a problem. Okay, catch them and then move over. I'm going to retreat my archers. My defenders can stay there. And then I'll move in the calf from down below. Ah, poop. Ah, poop. These guys are being annoying. Ah. Kiryatan, bless you. Absolutely destroying those sword wielders. For a moment I thought Kiryatan died. I don't know why, my brain was just like, he's dead. But no, Kiryatan never dies. Right? I hope that wasn't like a, a jinx. Nah, I'm sure it isn't. Spears! Nice! Kiryatan! Ah, oh, these guys block you? The enemy are badly That's annoying. They have lost half their men. The, enemy general abandons his... the defenders still hold. They've taken some casualties. but So, who's still standing then? You have to pardon me, but I don't see anyone that's still in fighting shape. Yeah, who's, who's still here? Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well and make it so he can see us. I don't think anyone's left. That's probably one of the first time that's came back or something silly like that. I gotta make sure they're gone. Yeah, who's still? Oh, 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 oh my God! Are you freaking kidding me? Where did they- they killed so many of my veterans. Where did they come from all of a sudden? Oh, you absolute pricks. You were gone as well. Oh, I hate you so much for that. Oh, curse you. Imagine living to be like 2,000 years old and he got shot in the back by a ballista by some prick that can't properly write his own name. Oh my god. Friggin' Brian. Curse you, Brian! Oh, they're both gone. It's a heroic win. The casualties are really aren't that bad. This is a clear elven result. Okie doo. A lot of money, but... 
I don't care about money. Now, does Kiriatan still have the moving range? We'll take down Chieftain Gwyr and his Bren's Oath Band. He does. Could I bring in some reinforcements from Dunyad? If it was just Cav alone, that would already be quite helpful. Yes. It would just be a Cav only fight. These guys aren't skilled against mounts, and what is the extra unit? Don't forget Martyrs and Isendrick Towers one yet, no. So I could do it. That would be the quickest and easiest way for me to take Bregnas. That will trigger the Doomstack. But I think I'm ready for it, no matter where it spawns. Oh, hello. Uh, so if it spawns... At, like, near Dunyad... I mean, I have the arm. I can take him on the field if I must. Dor no 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 stand alone could solo them if need be. I do want to move Ekthelion out, but I think it's a bit stuck. That Solomon is raking in the big cash. Damn. Okay, well, good to know. But yeah, I think we'll take Bregnas now. So we have Kiriatan. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot to move that extra calf. Fine. I'll do it with this calf. I think Kiriatan can solo them if need be, but... So the bounce of power is like, no way, Jose, but I think this is actually relatively easy. I just need to move smart, use my ammo smart, and we should be fine. Put an end to this evil. Right. Feels like I'm doing a Rohan campaign. These guys do come in the gold armor. Do they look any different for it? I don't think so. Can't wait until I get some yeah, Noldor horses. The good thing is we can take these guys out on their own, they're just those 93 of them. Get as close as possible and stand still. That improves your accuracy. Oh, they're throwing axes. Crap. Whoops, didn't realize they threw axes. I've never fought, I mean never might be the wrong word, but I've not often fought these Brian Oathman because they've got so many custom generals that so I'll just kind of charge them. Stay out of their range. Nice charge. Hope they don't point blank throw axes at me. Come on, run away, because they're going to throw point blank axes at you. I know them. I know them. They do that kind of shenanigans sometimes. Okay, good. Yeah, they're freaking trying to. But I won't let them. Only half the enemy force remains. Yep, chase me. I mean, these guys are the scariest by far. The other two units. Not even close to being as scary. Alright, can I do a double charge then? Cap sandwich? For all time's sake? Hell to the S! Nice. Pull back though. Don't want to stay in prolonged combat. These guys aren't bad. And now we just calf sandwiched them to death. To death, I tell you. Two of them left. Geralt, your time has come, prick. Nice. And that's, I think, the fourth overlord, or whatever the name is, chieftain that we killed. We've killed more chieftains than elves at this point. So much for a kinslaying campaign. Alright, so they're just gonna march on me. Is the marches first? No, it's the Eisendrake Towers one. Those guys scare me a little bit. Not that much. When I say a little bit, I just mean a little bit, so. I think I'll go for a calf sandwich. Always in the mood for a good old calf sandwich. The general is a part of the Don't Forget Marches unit, I think. Okay, nice charge. Pull out. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Kiryatan is here. Nice. Pull back. Go, go, go. Nice. Good charge on the tower sword. Jolly good time. And then they're standing still, and that's when the Amanyar come in. It's all beautifully executed. 
And that's El Capitan dead. They have lost half their men. I think that's going to be a route on their part. Now one more calf sandwich to finish them off. Called it. Oh, that was easy. That was very easy. I do need to be careful now because I've got no garrison in that settlement, but I don't think there's anyone in range to attack me. But we'll have to see. Alright, goodbye. Hey, another chieftain dies. Surprise, surprise. Ah, I think I can occupy it. Public order, be damned. And that's an extra cash injection right into my veins. Oh, feels good. All right, let's double check that uh, all buildings serve me. Chicken farmings, we elves don't eat chicken, so that can go. Uh, yeah. Catapult make it, okay. All right, okay. Let's, uh, not the studio here. Do the same here. Everything useful? No, we don't eat chicken. I told you, mom, I don't eat chicken. Oh my god. And everything else adds stuff. Okay. Uh, we'll move some extra spice to Bregnas. Just for the public order and the culture. Mostly the culture. Okay, nice. So this will trigger that doom stack. At the very least it should. We will keep marching on to Gund. And part of me wants to just grab Dor no 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 and march onto Eisenrun straight away. And then Dorwath is only a small expedition away. Would that be silly... Depends on how quickly the Doomstack reaches us. See, I wouldn't have to wait long to go for Eisenrun. Note, they don't have a general in Durwath. So if I march on Eisenrun and Gund, and I kill their faction members, that's Eisengard... Uh, sorry, I keep saying Eisengard. Done and done. And the Doomstack would still be wandering about, but... Hmm, is that a problem? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. So, wait, I need one turn to move to Wiserun, then another turn to reach and lay siege to it, build up siege equipment, and then I need a third turn to take it. I need three turns. Next turn, the Doomstack will spawn. So, wait, that's one turn. Two turn for them to march towards Dunyard, and then the third turn they'll attack me, so I'll be short one turn. Unless they need two turns to move. It is quite unfortunate that I can't make it towards Eisenrun, that I'm just too far away. So perhaps I should just wait, face out the Doomstack on the field, and be done with it. No, you know what? My mother did not raise me to be a pussy. I'll leave behind... Not a skeleton crew, but a small-ish crew. Dor nor 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 stone will move towards Eisenbrunn. We're gonna do it. Next turn we'll lay siege to it. Then we need an extra turn to build the city. A Gund I can take sooner if Captain Pad stays there. Ah, they take two turns anyway, so yeah, no, I'm not making any progress there. Unless I move troops from Kara. Now that's also gonna take an extra turn. We'll see, we'll see. I'll, I can still change my mind depending on where the Doomstack spawns. But right now I am moving with Dornop Noston towards Eisenrun. Yeah, no. Uh, I think we can press the end turn. I do need to round off the episode almost. I know, I know, I know. Please, Izzy, do another two hour campaign. I know, I want to. But I think I'm already over my time. Even with all the editing out of battles, I've been recording quite a while now. <laughs> Close to an hour and a half, but. It's so much fun. I was so close to finishing off Dunland. That's oh, such a big goal as well. And then we have so... Oh, yeah, there is a Doomstack. Right next to Dunlarak. I don't think they'll try and take Dunlarak. If they do, there's nothing I can do against it. They should move to a settlement they border. Yeah, the Axis Bite. More like choose. Okay, take Eyes and Run for one of the best units currently available. Okay. So I'm going to lay siege to it. They got a bunch of extra troops, it seems. That's fine, I have a very strong army. And I think I'll buy some farm and pikemen just to push the ram. <laughs> and Balamithor. 
I'm going to move it towards Gund. But again, that's going to take another turn before we can lay siege to it. Move extra troops. Myrnil, can you pick up mercenaries? No. So there's the Doomstack. I could take him down, no problem. I'm not going to, but I could if I want to. Alright, extra roads in an honor rot, that's good. I can retrain Amanyar there. I'm gonna get those Lindar. If I cannot retrain my Amanyar riders at Ostinethal, yeah, then we'll send them towards an honor rot. And I got rid of that message even though I wasn't done reading it yet. Um nah, maybe I should get the chasm here. It's expensive, but worth it. Which other settlement could I build something at? Karas. Um I think we'll get roads. Roads is important. I want roads all over my realm. And then I'll just quickly check all my settlements. Brunos, yeah, waiting for the expansion there. Bregos, same deal. It's coming, it's coming, but it's gonna take a while. Belegiant. I think we'll splurge on the roads. 1.6k, 2.2k, yeah, 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 we'll splurge on the roads. I have the money for it now. Training with both Bree and Dunland. Uh, Dunedain. I always mix those up. Alright, so the Doomstack has spawned. We've committed to finishing off Dunland. They're now at Dunlarag, but they should move at the very least towards Daniar, which will take them two turns. Then I can take Eisenrun. I need to take Gund as well, or they might try and go for Bregnas. Once I do that... Oh, I'm an idiot. We cannot regicide them because they always get a new general with their Doomstack. Right. I'm going to pull them in Dunlarag, just in case. <laughs> So I'm going to have to take down Durwath as well, but I should be able to. If not, if the Doomstack makes it towards Dunyad, I will pull back some troops and face them on the field. I'm not scared of them like that. Alright, I got some extra troops here at Alderaan that I will move towards Bregnas and maybe some towards Karas as a backup. Uh, I got all these troops that I want to retrain. You are going home for retraining. Cell swords. I might retire you as well. Go sit in forts. The cell sword forts. If I can get these bowmen retrained as well, that'd be quite nice. So I'm going to move you back home. Careful of the doom stack. All right, famine pikemen. I think you've also earned your retirement. I can just control all these forts. That's actually quite nice as well. Okay, the economy is looking quite good. I have a lot of territory. Dunland is on the verge of destruction. I think we'll be able to take him down in the next episode. Dawn on Oston will lead the pack. So, I'd say that was quite a good episode. Honestly, I had a lot of fun with it, and I think that's the most important parameter. But also, we achieved quite a bit. We took both Bregnas and Karas. We have troops moving on both Gund and Eisenrun. And then only Derwath and the Doomstack remains. And that, my friends, will be Dunland done with. Isengard I do want to kill, but we need to be careful that if we destroy Isengard, Bree will become evil, because the Sharky script, of course. So we need to be sufficiently prepared for that. At that point, we will be fairly close to reaching our goal of 35 provinces, and I think we can start slowly but surely prepare for the end game, which is of course the Great Kin Strife, to make sure we subjugate all the elven factions within Middle Earth under one banner. So, I'm looking forward to that, I hope you are too, and we'll get one step closer to that in the next episode, so I hope to catch you all there. Bye bye lads!